perform well enough to get this? Uh, I don't really think about it too much. Like, fighting that happens by accident. You know, I never ever set out, oh, I'm going to go and have this long 15 minute war and it's going to be fighting that. No, it's, I want to go out and submit people very, very quickly, take them down, choke them out, do whatever I got to do. Uh, but I want to, I want to be fast. You know, fighting that means you're getting beat up a little bit, which I'm not looking forward to. I want to get in and get out. But I think that I'm just, I'm very aggressive. So I think that kind of lends itself to, you know, lots of fighting nights and, you know, good, exciting performances. Let's talk about the lightweight division real quick. Uh, it's pretty stacked, but it seems like there's always injuries there at the top of that division. Uh, what do you think of a win for you does for your status in that division, and how close do you think you'll be getting to a title shot? Uh, injuries suck. You know what I mean? Every training camp. I don't think I've ever had a training camp where I didn't go to a fight hard, at least a little bit banged up. I've had some of my best fights really, really banged up. So it's, it's the way it goes sometimes. Unfortunately, you know, there's no, like, silver bullet for staying sick. You know, like, everyone's like, oh, you hurt your knee, you hurt your hand, you hurt your elbow, shoulder, neck, whatever, back. There's 8,000 ways to get hurt, and there's really no way to protect everything and still be able to move. You need, like, bubble wrap or something. You can't train. Um, so I think injuries are always going to be something that's kind of a pain, and I, I think that anyone is, like, you know, one injury from getting a title shot. And like, I don't, I don't, I'm not thinking about it. I'm not worried about it. I don't really care about it. But if it happens, if something ever happens like that, that'd be great. I'd be ready to step up, but who knows. Are you surprised that this car was able to stay intact? Because usually cars fall apart. And a car this stack, you would think that somebody would fall out. I think we only lost Michelle Waters. Yeah, I mean, it was a big loss. You know, I mean, Michelle Waters is awesome. Um, but still, I mean, like, I, I didn't know how it was all going to shake out. I think guys are more, they're trying to pay attention more for injuries and trying to, you know, ease off the gas a little bit. Um, but, I mean, I think we, we got to pray the MMA gods, you know, the fact that, you know, the car is, is sustained for so long. Last question for you. What fight are you looking forward to seeing the most? It's such a heavy weekend of fights. Is there a fight that you're looking forward to the most out of all of them? Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Connor fight with Aldo. Uh, you know, I think that on paper it looks like, oh, Aldo's going to take him down. Aldo's going to beat him with jiu-jitsu. Aldo's going to kick him in the leg. Uh, but I think Connor's got really long reach. He's got really long arms. Um, he's, he's super... He's great on the mic. He's great at promoting the fight. Everyone wants to watch him fight, whether you want to see him get his ass kicked or you want to see him win. Uh, so, I mean, I think that uh, that's the fight I'm looking forward to the most. I think everyone else is, you know, pretty much looking at that one, too. Uh, I have to follow that up with this. Yep. He's been talking about going to the lightweight division. Would you like to greet him? I, I would fight Connor. Yeah, I think it'd be awesome. I mean, anyone that fights Connor is getting great exposure, you know? So, uh, I think I think I have a, a tough style matchup for him. Uh, if you want to come up, I, I would absolutely fight him. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Thank you, Joe. Not a problem.